This is Amir Khan Ali Zay. So now continuing on to the uh, the cross price elasticity, and in this lecture we will also discuss the uh, cross price elasticity and uh, in detail and with different examples to have better understanding with the comparison at the end. So uh, keep stick to the lecture. So by definition, the cross uh, price elasticity for good as already noted measures the responsiveness of quantity demand of one group with the change in the price of the related group. Perhaps in Coke example, I'm now the court key. When all the other variables in the general demand function remain constant, so relation in relation the price the cross price elasticity the measure the responsiveness of quantity demand of one good. I think it is clear now that the one good quantity demand uh, a change where uh, that that occurs with the price of another good change. So holding the price of good and all other determinants of price constant. So cross price elasticity positive hogi ja uh, a negative hogi when the two goods are substitutes ke jab wo complement ho ek dusre ke to phir impact aaye. Like we will be discussing that uh, normal goods have positive income elasticity of demand and inferior goods have negative income elasticity like beef and potatoes are inferior goods since em is negative steaks are more strongly normal than chicken indicating that a given percentage increase in income causes over a fourfold the fivefold increase in steak consumption than uh, chicken consumption so the pepsi and coke is more strongly normal than shizan the high income elasticity of demand for foreign travel indicates that customer demands for foreign travel is quite responsive to change in income so the change has the impact and that depends that uh, what are your motives example i am putting here for a cross price elasticity is that life insurance life insurance is a normal good for both japanese and pakistanis but in japanese demand for life insurance is nearly twice as sensitive to changes in income as uh, a part demand for life insurance so as we have already explained this just to reiterate that uh, the cross elasticity uh, price elasticities are positive substitutes and negative for complements so just keep that in mind in this uh, slide we will be discussing a, a comparison here for normal normal necessity normal luxury goods and inferior goods it is looking at the formula of the price for cross price elasticity of demand that is percentage change in quantity demanded of product a divided by the percentage change in the price of the product b so this formula you need to learn it by heart and to keep it in mind then we will be discussing cross price elasticity now normal luxury goods that is international air travels or uh, uh, luxury of chocolates private education foreign education on uh, self finance would be very expensive things normal uh, necessity that is fresh vegetables instant coffee natural cheese or the fruit juices and normal grocery items inferior goods for frozen frozen vegetables cigarettes uh, and there is processed cheese and mar margarines so these these come in the peak inferior good category so here in this slide i am posting the quiz so you need to go through the questions and uh, prepare answers for yourself and prepare yourself against the quizzes that how many types of price elasticity are defined above elaborate with example and diagrams explain the determinants of the price elasticity of demand also quote examples and uh, uh, elaborate on limitations of elasticities so you have to go through it to check your own vocabulary and uh, take your test by your own with this uh, uh, we are going coming to the end of this lecture and in next lecture i will be discussing regression analysis and forecasting techniques so keep stick to it and, and hope uh, these basic uh, and uh, normal definitions and examples are easy for you people to uh, understand assalamu alaikum